So today we're um, visiting the new venue again. Um, this time we've got Cora, our few spot Appaloosa mare. As you can see, absolutely beautiful stamp of a horse. Um, forget the colouring for a minute. She's got good confirmation. She's a nice athletic build, but at the same time, she's got quite a lot of substance to her. So she's not overly fine. She's a really nice sort of sports horse build. And then you've obviously got the very unusual colour as well. And she's nice because she's got the dark points down her legs and it's actually brown rather than black. So she's slightly unusual. She's a registered Appaloosa with all the full breeding on her passport. Um, we've actually measured her, but we did measure her quite quickly and we measured her at 15.1, but she actually looks bigger than 15.1. And as you can see, she carries Nikki very nicely. So she's a really nice size, a nice ladies horse. Um, having said that, Kyle rode her yesterday, Kyle being six foot one, and this is how good she is. Me and Nikki actually went yesterday and we brought the other horse down here and left Kyle on his own back at the yard. He tacked Cora up and took her out hacking for about an hour and a half on her own. And he actually called us whilst we were here. And in the words of a teenager, Mom, this horse is, this horse is fab, he said. Mom, this horse is fab. He went past everything. He said he had lorries past him, trailers, absolutely everything. He'd never sat on her before and straight out on her own. Very, very bold to hack out this horse. She will pretty much hack wherever you point her nose. So obviously, hacking alone is no problem whatsoever. Um, hacking in company as well. Um, she's done, she's a whole, her old owner has had her for two years. Personal circumstances forced the sale, a very sad sale. And it was a bit of a no brainer to have this horse here because her owner is actually a Facebook friend of mine. So as you all know, on Facebook, um, you see people's posts coming up on your wall all of the time. And her owner is, um, one of the frequent Facebook users. So there's lots of updates, lots of photos. So Cora's actually been popping up on my Facebook for the past two years. So I actually know this horse without knowing her, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I've seen this horse do hacking out on her own, just schooling, seen her in a scruff at home. I've also seen her out, um, this is on Facebook when I'm saying I've seen her, seen her um, go to numerous shows, one day events and a lot of eventing, arena eventing, cross country and every summer I actually see her down the pub quite regular. <laughs> Not saying there's anything wrong with that at all. We are a big advocate of going to the pub on our horse. Um, but the, the point being is you're not going to take a horse down to the pub all the time and for um, a bit of pleasure if it's not a pleasure. And so there's many selfies taken with Cora with the pint of lager as well. Um, happily stood there quietly at the pub and then hacking home. That's a big testament of a horse's um, personality, temperament and just the bond you've got with your horse and how much you enjoy your horse, you know. If you're going to use it for a bit of social life as well, it's certainly not a chore. So that just gives you an insight of the sort of home she's had and the sort of horse she is. You can see that she's walking around here lovely in a nice contact. Um, so she's not heavy. She's not a strong horse at all. She's only in a snaffle. Nick's got her favourite bridle on. Um, you'll notice most horses that Nikki rides, Nikki picks up that bridle. It seems to have the knack of fitting every single horse that we ever have. Um, and it acts like a Micklin bridle. So um, it doesn't put any pressure on your horse's pressure points. And Cora seems to like it. Um, Nikki clipped her yesterday. You can't quite see too much on here, but she's just got a chaser clip. Um, just because she's quite fine coated to be fair it wasn't paramount that she was clipped but it just stops her getting too warm very nice to deal with in the stable really really look in fact she's quite an affectionate mare and she's so gentle it, you'd have to meet her to understand what i mean by that she is just so gentle everything she does she's not pushy she's not bargy she's very polite she's a proper lady and she's actually in season at the minute. She's travelled down here with Rick. We've had no bother, no 
Um, nothing marish at all. You can see Rick is down there doing his own thing. She's not bothered by that. Very good to load. She's loaded in all sorts of vehicles, seven and a half ton, three and a half ton trailers. Good to travel. As I say, lovely in the, um, in the stable. Good to clip, good to shoe. She's shod all round. Um, so yep, she's good to shoe, good to catch. Absolutely no vices whatsoever. Um, really there's not a lot that you can say that this horse hasn't done works very nicely on the flat done quite a bit of dressage walk trot canter the most beautiful comfortable canter to ride and really really impressive paces in the trot um jumps round full set of show jumps fillers as i say she's done arena eventing she's done a lot of clinics so she's been in that sort of environment Th there is not anything that this horse hasn't been out and done she's a very very nice horse um, a lot of people will be asking me, is she suitable as a confidence giver? Is she suitable for a novice? Behaviour wise, 100% she is. But you know, she's a sports horse. So she's a bit, she's probably too good to warrant um, being used to, to learn on. I've probably not just put that across correctly, really. Um, I would call her a confidence giver in the sense of, um, let's say Nick just lacks a little bit of confidence around offences and that sort of thing. So she's going to be a confidence giver in that respect. But obviously Nick is a very good rider as well. So not a confidence giver as in a beginner's confidence giver, if that makes sense. A very What I would say is she's an uncomplicated, straightforward all-rounder that you could take out. And whatever you choose to do, beach ride, fun rides... Hacking, hacking alone, hacking in company, show jumping, eventing, cross country, dressage, and she's going to give it a good go and probably come home with some rosettes. And I, I'm sure there must be some showing classes for these sort of, um, this, yeah, there must be. Showing's not my thing, guys, but I'm sure there is. So, you know, you could do that with her as well because she's fully registered. And obviously, being a mare, she's going to breed a nice foal as well. Um, you know, you, these few spot Appaloosas are quite few and far between nowadays. So you've also got that. So a very nice horse, 15-1, rides like a 15-2, 15-3. Um, she's definite horse, not sort of big pony. I take one look at her here and my guess would be that she's 15-3. So she really is going to take up, you know, a taller rider as well. She's nine years old, so she's perfect age. She's been there and done enough, but you've got the whole life she's just coming into a prime so wonderful age as well non-marish affectionate nice natured straightforward quality horse and she's actually available with all her tack as well the tack that she's wearing is not hers but she has got very good quality i think it's a Pessoa bridle don't quote me on that but it is quite um it, it's it's decent tack that she's got available with her. So if you're interested, she's purple heart. And actually, horse like this ought to be going above the purple heart, to be honest, um, especially coming into this time of year. So somebody who's looking for a very nice horse, I would snap this one up when, when you can. Okay, thank you.